What's going on stackers? So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a drop shadow within Canva. Now if you're new here, my name's Paddy and every other day I like to bring out videos teaching you all the tips, tricks and strategies that I've learned to create passive income here online. So go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. So, this video is part of a playlist dedicated to a lot of Canva tutorials. We've got quite a few now. We've got ones here, here, here and there. But if you click right there, right now, in the right hand corner, then you're going to be taken to the playlist which is dedicated just to Canva. So I suggest going and checking that out. Now, let's head on over to Canva so I can show you how to create one of these drop shadows. So for this instance, let's just go with a presentation so we can get a black canvas up. Delete that last one, wait for that to load up. Now, when it comes to creating drop shadows within Canva, there's no button that can actually do this. You have to do things a little bit different, and that's what I'm about to show you. So let's just dive straight in. So let's change this background color. So let's go here. Let's change it to something like that. Now we are going to need some text. So we go here on the left hand side, go to text. Let's make this bigger as well, just by grabbing the corner. And let's put your design. So let's just put that, do it in caps lock, your design. So let's do that. Let's make that a little bit bigger. Now from here, it's actually really simple to do. In fact, let's just change this to a different font. Great thing about Canva, they have lots of fonts that you can use. I actually pay for the paid version so I can upload my own fonts. If you want to check out a 30 day free trial, there will be a link down there in the description where you can go through and do that. So let's change the font. Let's go for something like, let's keep having a look, something that looks really good. So let's go with Loving Holiday. So this is actually a font that I picked up on Canva. If you want to check out Canva as well, not Canva, sorry, on Creative Fabrica, if you want to check that out as well, there is a link in the description because I really love the fonts on Creative Fabrica. They have some really nice ones on there. So let's take a look at this. So to do your drop shadow, we're going to first change this color. So let's change this to red. Okay, let's do that. So what you actually want to do is just duplicate like so. Then we're going to change the color to black. And then we have to move that behind. So let's just move that to around about there. In fact, let's change that to white like that. And as you can see, we got a drop shadow there, but I want the drop shadow to be black. No, uh, not sorry. <laughs> I want the drop shadow, the white one, to be behind the red. So we go here, position, and just move to the back. And that is as simple as it gets. That's the only way that you can do a drop shadow. Now, you can play around with the transparency. So if you click the three dots just here, and then go here, we can play around with the transparency so you can make it a little bit softer or quite a hard drop shadow behind the text. But there you go, it's really, really simple. Now, here's a top tip for you. Once you've got your drop shadow how you want, once you've played around with it, what you want to do is double click and go over it. So like that, drag, so it puts those designs together, the two fonts or the two texts, and then you want to go to group just here. And now that design is grouped together. So now when we go and move this, the drop shadow is actually a part of it and you can move it around to where you want. But again, really simple. That's the only way that you can do this. I'm hoping that in 
future months to come that Canva will just add a drop shadow button effect where you can just do it at the click of a mouth mouse instead of doing it this way now again if you want to actually check out a free 30 day free trial for canva so you can upload your own fonts click right there in the description and go through and check it out now i hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.